What's up guys, welcome to this vlog. So, I actually forgot to record it. I was gonna do it on my iPhone, but um, just came back from Whole Foods as well as the gym. Let me show you what I got. So, I picked up some, or let me just separate these into meals. So, mushroom, sweet potato, and then free range eggs, and then rice chicken breast so I'm gonna make two portions of this and two portions of that so I've been spending so much money on eating out and then my cheaper option was actually just go to Whole Foods and meal prep the thing is I've realized I've been living so so lavishly recently and just you know meeting up with other business owners other people who do marketing uh, who have their own startups stuff like that I've just been finding that they keep all the money within the business and look I do think you need to put good food into your body I do think you need to take care of yourself go to the sauna get get a get a sports massage eat good food go out and enjoy yourself with friends because then that gives you more energy to go crush it but that said i think i've been living too lavishly and that's sort of what i realized in the month of april um that you know i'm building this lifestyle and i can sustain it i know i can but why don't i put that back into the business um and then just grow at an even faster rate so all of that was basically just to say, you know, shit like free range rather than organic free range. This is like probably half the price. Uh, in terms of chicken, it's still like nine pounds just for three breasts, but uh, it's once again, free range rather than organic. So that was the theme of last month. The fact that I was living just so lavishly. Um, let's put it back into the business. And that's actually what I did last night. Number one, I ordered a new lens, the 24 to 70, uh, as well as audio equipment. So I spent like a grand in total audio equipment, uh, some spare batteries. Um, I actually got a camera backpack, but it looks like vintagey. Um, so I could still wear a nice outfit, throw that on. And it looks super dope because uh, aesthetics do really mean a lot to me. But anyways, I'm rambling on now. I'm really excited to bring you guys this vlog. We have a cool day ahead. So let's cue the intro in three, two, one. I see, I see like 10, 17. It's back with Georgia. Hi. <laughs> Be more positive. Sorry, hi guys. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. You've been on it. Were you on it last week? No. No, yeah, you were. Oh no, you weren't. Guys, well, how's, how long has it been? Like three months? It's been ages. Absolutely ages. So long. Georgia, when are you starting your own YouTube? I mean, I'm in the process of it, but it's a long. Are you gonna vlog? I might vlog. It's a. What, what do you guys think? Should I vlog? Okay, leave in the description because, or leave in the comment section. Because don't you think she'd be such a good vlogger? Oh, stop. Uh, can I have ciabatta to start? Yeah. And then what was it, the fusilli with meatballs? Thank you. Your heart is hard to carry after dark. Try to blame for what we could have been, cause look at what we are. Where are we at? Yes. So, I would definitely recommend this place. It's Georgia's little spot. Like when she walked in, they gave her a big embrace. They're like, Georgia! So, uh, hopefully, I get that same reception next time I come here. But definitely, definitely would recommend. So, we're back in my favorite coffee store, Mooney, South Kensington, with Georgia S. Um, kind of my bad. I was meant to have a meeting with. Okay, is it an NGO? A charity. Okay, a charity. With someone uh, who runs a charity currently traveling the world, so we're just spreading awareness about it. Um, it's all to do with cleft palates. Um, we're meant to have a meeting at 2. He sent me a message this morning at like 11 just to confirm um, the meeting. I didn't see it, so um, he's on his way now. Uh, so rather than 2, we pushed it to 3. So right now, just running a little business audit for a company that contacted me yesterday. Um, and then Georgia's just sipping on her. Tea. So guys, Zach finally showed up. Hi! <laughs> um, very, very jet lagged. So he actually started this initiative called One in 700. And um, obviously, you know, I'm big into content creation. So it's just a very interesting concept. And rather than me explaining it to you, I thought I'd get Zach to do it himself. So tell us a little bit about it. All right. Um, well, I'm a photographer uh, by trade and I am traveling. I was also born with uh, something called a cleft lip. Uh, sometimes coexists with a cleft palate. I didn't have a cleft palate, but uh, you see this little scar right here? So I'm uh, flying around the world photographing kids who have cleft lip and cleft palate. It's the second most common birth defect in the world. First in the UK, um, so I've actually seen it quite a lot here. But uh, just trying to raise awareness and get people, uh, give people a sense of uh, community and let them know that they're not alone and that this doesn't have to hold them back. So fun start to the day. Luckily, my second meeting is genuinely like down there. It's like 
it's like four doors down. So my commute time between the two meetings is around 30 seconds. So guys, really good meeting with Zebra Fuel. Basically it's like three, four business owners. Um, they're all around like 23, 20, 21, around that age. Um, so it was really cool, really cool meeting. Um, actually had a meeting with one of the owners um, and then one of the other ones came in, but came home. I basically just have like five, six hours in there, in the lab, in the studio, hustling, um, and there's not much content you can get from that. Sometimes I wish like I could just portray the amount of work I do behind the scenes. So I mean like you guys just see all the glory bits. You see me having fun with my friends. You see me traveling to these places. You see me buying these things. And I, I, sometimes I even look at, back at my own videos and I'm kind of like, yeah, but where's the work? And I can assure you that I work my face off. I bleed through my eyes sometimes. <laughs> that amount of work goes into it. I thought because not much has actually happened this vlog, I would end off with a question that I get a lot, a lot, which is, Look, how do you stay composed when you're a 17 year old high school dropout and you are in a boardroom meeting with a company with millions of seed capital, when you are networking with a multimillionaire, when you're networking with an influencer who has 500,000, a million followers? Like, how do you stay calm? How do you, how do you know your own self-worth when you're right at the bottom? The number one thing I can say is don't qualify yourself. Now let me explain what I mean by this. You know when you think someone's so much further or higher above you, you, um, you try and say all these things so they see your own self-worth, so you'll talk about this accolade or maybe how much, you made, how much money you made here or you know, how well you did in this endeavor. You really try to like big yourself up. Trust me, that, that is the worst thing you can do. These people are playing at such a high level, they can see right through that shit. The best thing you can do is don't qualify yourself. Look, as I said, these people are playing at such a high level, the sort of conversations they're having with other people, you know, who aren't in their circle, who aren't at like an elite level is, you know, it's, it's people just trying to like convey their value to them and they won't even take the time to listen to the person. They're so interested in, in how do I show, you know, this guy or girl, how do I show them that I'm worthy of being here? And all that conveys to them is they know they're down here and they're trying to bring themselves up here. You act like you're here from the get-go it's a lot better of a dynamic to start the uh, start the meeting off in that way, start the conversation off in that way. Because as I said, they're look, they're playing at a high level. They've seen it all. They cut straight through that BS. Now, literally, this one thing will transform the game for you. Because as I said, even for me personally, when I meet a follower or a subscriber, and rather than fucking trying to prove their worth to me, they're just open and receptive and have a real conversation with me. Like that's when I'm interested. And the second thing you can do is join entrepreneur groups, so join business networking groups. You know, if you're in a bookstore and someone's sitting next to you and it looks like they have a book that's within the same niche as you, start a conversation. If you put me in front of Warren Buffett or Bill Gates, would I be nervous? Would I probably try and qualify and prove myself? Yeah, probably. Look, I'm used to talking and networking with the multimillionaires. If you put me in the bracket of hundreds of millions, billions, if you put me in front of Michael Jordan, I'm probably gonna act a bit differently just because I'm not acclimated to it. So if you wanna get to that top tier, start talking to people who are, you know, have just started their business, who are good but not great or excellent, and then work your way up and get, become more and more acclimated to it. When I go into a boardroom meeting right now, or when I, you know, when I meet a new influence or something like that, because I've done it with so many other people in the past, like I know I deserve to be there. The final thing I'll leave you guys with is I talk about this give or taker mentality so much. Rather than fucking think, what can I take from this person? Think about what can I give to this person? And I know that sounds so cliche, but when someone comes to me and they say, look, Iman, you know, like I can do this for you, not even because I need it, but more just because it's like, it's a good way to start the relationship. Like you're coming to me, I'm good. I don't, I don't need anything from you. But the fact that you're coming to me with this value proposition that shows me a lot about you and the fact that you're looking you're looking to play win-win. As I said, so many people come to me and they're like, yo, what's the secret? Can you mentor me? Teach me the tip to make this money. Teach me the tip to grow this way. I'll even get people being like, who are your mentors? Can you introduce me to some of the people in your network? All it is is a taker mentality. And do you think I'm very receptive to that? Not really, because as I said, like I'm good. I don't, I don't need anything from you. So if you're coming to me with that frame, then 
I'm just too busy. But those are just my little piece of advice. It's just something to think about. And the more and more you practice, like pe people really, really do overcomplicate what it takes to build rapport and build a connection with that person. Just stick to those three simple things and, and you'll be good and you sh should start seeing results. And once you've done that, as I said, scale, build up, and soon you'll be networking and hanging around people you, you never could have imagined before. So I hope I left you with a bit of value there. As I said, I'm about to go crush like five, six hours of work. So there's not really much that I could put on my camera, vlog about, stuff like that. So um, I hope you're on your hustle. I hope you're on your grind too. I would have liked to do this sort of speech off the cuff, you know, my walk and talk. They always get a really good reception, but um, I don't have any cameraman available to me today. But I'll try to get more of those done. So as I said, if you enjoy this video, please leave a like. It really does mean the world to me. And uh, we'll cue the outro in three, two, one. Got a plan with the nose. I sleep on the beach off the avenue. I came to your city with revenue.